It's 7.35, you're watching Sunrise here on Sky News. We're going to have uh, more now on the cervical screening story today. Two women die every day from cervical cancer and screening rates are at a 20-year low. Well, the government has today launched a campaign that includes a television advert to try and encourage women that though it may be an awkward five minutes, a smear test could save your life. Well, let's speak to the public health minister, Steve Bryan, about this. Good morning to you, Mr Bryan. Morning. Um, why are rates at a 20-year low? Why aren't women going for routine smear tests? The NHS sends them letters to remind them. Well, I mean, you said that in their introduction, didn't you? You know, we think about 2,500 women are diagnosed every year with cervical cancer and just under 700 of them will die. And, and, and they're pretty, pretty bad figures. And, and there's a really sad thing about this, and the reason why there's been such a drive for a campaign like this in Parliament and among charities like Joe's Trust is because this is an entirely preventable killer. And so, <clears throat> you know, that's why we're launching the first of a national cervical screening campaign. And, and there's all sorts of barriers to, to, to going for screening, as you say. Um, so, so there's a sort of misunderstanding, I think, as to what screening is. So unlike breast screening, where, you know, you are looking for a lump that, that ultimately is breast cancer. With cervical screening, you're looking for abnormal cells or the HPV virus, which which could, I underline could, lead to cervical cancer, uh, uh, but then therefore can, you know, it's an entirely preventable process. There's also the whole you know, pain and embarrassment factor. So, you know, if, if one person goes for a screen and, it, and it's uncomfortable, you know, they then might spread that word. Whereas actually, you know, clearly I'm a guy talking about this, but and it can be, can be painful and obviously it, it is embarrassing. But but, um, you know, it isn't always that way by any stretch. So this campaign is to try and bust some of those myths and it's going to be running between now and the end of April and really, really hope and need to push the numbers up. It's interesting, Mr Bryan, because you say, you know, I'm a guy sitting here talking mm. about cervical screening, but that's all right and that's kind of the point, isn't it? In Indeed. terms of you've launched this national TV advert to try and spark conversations, to try and get men and women to have a conversation about going for routine smear tests. That's right and you know I I'm, I'm married to a woman and uh, you know and she, she encourages me to go to the doctor and vice versa so you know I think you know, 10 years ago when poor Jay Goody um, died we saw a massive spike in the number of women uh, taking up their screening appointments and that has waned over the years and and there's, that's why there has been such a push for us to do this sort of national campaign. And it's going to work across all the different channels, so obviously TV, radio, online, on demand, all, all of that, and, and in the, the more traditional media advertising spaces. And also, specifically, we want to target younger women, because they're the ones that are not taking up the appointments, and, and women in the BAME community. I mean, there was a lot of coverage yesterday about, about, about those women not taking up their appointments. So, you know, it's about who is the messenger of this really important public health message. And, uh, you know, we really, really need to push up the numbers because yes it can be painful yes it can be embarrassing uh, yes there's lots of misunderstandings about this but I've met far too many women and far too many families who have either contracted cervical or, or lost somebody to cervical cancer and, uh, and it's entirely entirely avoidable yeah and it's interesting you mentioned the word painful there that is a, a big myth actually I'd say it's uncomfortable rather than painful speaking as a woman who has been for mm. a smear test I know a lot of women who will be sitting at home going it's not the most pleasant thing but it's certainly not painful and it's certainly worth five minutes of your time because just looking at the statistics doctors saying with more tests done they could lower the number of cervical cancer cases by a whopping 83 this exactly can make a that. huge difference just by giving up five minutes of your day. It really is, you know. And when I'm I'm the cancer minister, when I talk to you know cancers like pancreatic cancer, for instance, you know, which has a very poor survival rate, it is just really, really difficult. And cancer is indiscriminate and it is dangerous. But this is one of those cancers. You know, when I first met Joe's Trust, when I took up this job, they said, you know, this is one that we can do. This is one that we can bust. So, so it is about people taking up their screening. But also, you know, there's also other things that we can do as government. So we introduced the HPV um, vaccine program for girls a number of years ago and just last year last summer I announced that we're going to extend that now to boys and that's really really important because the vast majority of cervical cancer cases come out of the HPV virus and you know if we vaccinate against that we have some herd immunity through just doing the girls but now we're doing the boys as well we have we have a wider immunity against that for boys who have sex with girls and, and then obviously for other cancers head and neck mouth cancers for for men who have sex with men or, or have uh, let's just say this time in the morning non-traditional sex. Yeah, OK. Uh, Steve Bryan, thank you very much. It's an important issue to flag up this morning and hopefully uh, a lot of women watching this morning will check uh, when their next routine test is. Uh, for most of us, it's one every three years. Check uh, when your next appointment is. Steve Bryan, thank you very much for talking to us about uh, cervical screening here on Sunrise this morning.